Hey everybody, on this video we have a two and a half pound uh, bottom round roast uh, marinated overnight in the fridge and has now been sitting at room temperature for about an hour. And we're going to actually rotisserie it using a Toshiba toaster oven with a rotisserie function. Uh, I'll put a link to Amazon if you want to check out the uh, toaster oven. So our first thing that we need to do here um, is actually get it out and get it on the uh, rotisserie. Try to do this without making a huge mess here. All right. All right, I'm going to just uh, run the, the uh, spit through here and try to get it close to even as we can. Okay. And we'll get the uh, teeth in one side. As long as it's on one side, it'll actually spin here. So if you can't reach the other side, it's really uh, not a big deal. So the other side's not even going to touch, but that's okay. It'll still spin it. So now from here, just got to just transfer it into the actual toaster oven. So let me just adjust the camera here and we'll do that. All right, so we got our uh, toaster oven here. We got our drip plate, which just goes on the bottom. And then we'll uh, get our rotisserie here kind of locked, locked in here. All right, and we're in there. And what we're gonna do is actually uh, go ahead and cook this um, uh, kind of low and slow here. We're gonna do 220 for about an hour and 40 minutes. So we want uh, rotisserie. And temperature, we're gonna do 220 degrees. And we're gonna do an hour and 40 minutes here. And then what we'll do here is uh, after an hour and 40 minutes, we'll uh, check the temperature on it. And um, just see, we're looking for a temperature about 140 to 145 degrees here is what we'd uh, want this to uh, cook at. So I'm just gonna uh, not touch it here for the next hour and 40 minutes. Just let it uh, spin around here and do its thing. And uh, after the uh, timer goes off here, we'll uh, check the temp and we'll uh, see what we're doing. All right, our uh, cook time is complete here. So now we'll uh, go ahead and just check the uh, temperature on it and use our new meat thermometer here. And I'll link this on Amazon as well. It seems to uh, work okay. So let's see if I can just uh, maybe get it to spin a little bit more here. All right, we got to get it into the fat part here. And our temperature here is at actually, uh, it said actually 158, which you couldn't, couldn't see on the camera there, but it's a little bit warmer than I wanted. So I guess I could actually either take temperature down or reduce the cook time, maybe by like 15 minutes or so. Uh, but it is as done as I want it here. I really didn't want it above like 145, but we should be okay. So now we'll go ahead and get this out of here. And it comes with this handy little... Uh, tool here to actually lift it out and Okay, I'm just set it on my cutting board and we'll move the camera. All right, so I've got to roast out and I'm gonna get the uh, rotisserie fork out of it and then we'll let it rest for about 10 minutes and then we'll uh, slice it up here and see uh, see what we got. All right, so I let it rest for uh, 10 minutes here and we'll see if we can slice it apart here and see, uh, see what we got. The outside looks good. Let me just cut the whole thing in half just for time's sake here and see how the uh, middle cooked. Ok, 
Okay, that's kind of how I want it here. I actually want to actually I preferred a little bit more rare than that, but so anyway, that's uh basically rotisserie a uh, beef round roast here. Uh, you know, 220 for uh, I think I went an hour and uh, 40 minutes, and I maybe should have just gone maybe a few minutes less, but looks like it turned out good. I uh, can't wait to make a side here and eat it. Uh, questions or comments, I'll put them in the comments, and uh, if you want to check out the toaster oven or the meat thermometer, I'll put an Amazon link in the description. And until next time, we'll talk to everybody later.